Welcome to the Weekly Wine Done, a recap of the biggest news, latest reviews and best advice from MCN. Head to MotorcycleNews.com for full details of the stories mentioned and then have your say in the comments section. This week, Yamaha unveiled their latest GYTR projects, two track-only versions of the R1. The R1 GYTR and GYTR Pro are available as complete bikes from the manufacturer, or you can take your pick of parts to do your own upgrades from GYTR shops. The parts list ranges from rear sets and lever guards all the way to carbon subframes, wiring harnesses and suspension upgrades. Full bikes are expected to cost between 25 and 30,000 euros, with full pricing expected before the end of the year. Ducati have unveiled a special edition of their V4 Street Fighter that pays homage to the Lamborghini Huracan STO supercar. The Street Fighter V4 Lamborghini is a carbon cloud limited run version of Bologna's bonkers 1103cc four-cylinder Super Naked and the firm's second collaboration with the Italian supercar company. 630 bikes will be produced, with a further 63 exclusively available to Lamborghini customers. And what does it cost? How does almost £56,000 sound? Suzuki have backed up their promise of new models, sort of, with a new version of the V-Strom 1050. The XT is to be dropped for 2023 and replaced by a more off-road focused DE model. The new DE and the standard Strom will both have a new 5-inch colour TFT dash, up and down quick shifter, centre stand and handguards. The DE gets a 21-inch front wheel and longer travel, fully adjustable KYB suspension too. Aprilia have unveiled a juicy version of their RSV4 called the Extrenta, which pays tribute to 30 years of racing success. Just 100 track-only Extrentas will be made, with a tickled version of the RSV4's engine producing a claimed 230 brake horsepower. For your £43,245 plus VAT, you also get carbon bodywork, a Savadori paint job, a MotoGP-style underwing aero. And finally, British firm White Motorcycle Concepts have delivered a fleet of production WMC 300FR three-wheelers to Northamptonshire Police. The bike is built using a Yamaha Tricity at the base and uses similar aero tech to the WMC 250EV electric land speed bike. This gives the 300FR a 50% reduction in emissions and an economy figure of 104 miles per gallon. Thanks for watching the weekly wind on. Join us next week for another episode. Hit like and subscribe and make sure you don't miss it.